Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's February the 17th, 2018. Uh, if you'd like to uh, reach out to me to find out how you might uh, receive the paperwork, okay, it, my email is rick, R I C K, 0327 at me.com. Um, you know, we will make an exchange of a gift. You, you send the gift to me, and I send you, I send you the documents that uh, pertain to uh, your property being taken in violation of due process. Basically, that's the the whole battle. Okay, um, the whole child support. Um, The proceedings really are a production. Okay, I have one subscriber, Matty, in California. Good guy. Oh, all you guys are good guys, you know. Um, he works for uh, in the union. That the, he works on the Hollywood sets, makes movies, and I got the idea. Well, I've always said it. I realized it myself that it's nothing but a production. Okay, you you uh, you go to you go to a court inside a court building, and but the proceedings are administrative. Even if there's a, a judge sitting there wearing a black robe, which doesn't happen that often, what happens is because it's an administrative process. Okay, it's a simulated pro judicial process. Simulated. Okay, they want they make it look like it's a uh, you know, like a judicial process. Even and, and, and when they use a judge, they're really putting the screws to you because they got you, you know, you've been programmed your whole life to to listen to judges, okay? There's a reason why they had shows like Judge Judy and the People's Court. Obviously, they made money, uh, you know, by ratings and stuff, but it's also, it was a way to program people to, uh, you know, you got to follow the, the orders of the judge, you know, banging the mallet. And what it is, is you get progress, what's well, called TV programming. All right. Why do you think also there are shows out there like uh, Law and Order, been out there for 20 years. Now, of, you know, they're, yeah, they're interesting shows, but, you know, they got you programmed as well. You know, you're watching, you know, the, the cop side and then you watch the the uh, judicial side, and I used to be a part of that. You know, I, whenever I tell a story about what I used to do, or like even when if I used to talk to, um, you know, like one of these lawyers in, in child support or, or even a judge, I would say, I go, you know, you, you ever watch Law and Order? Well, I did that, okay? That's a, that's a fact. And all my uh, subscribers who are cops, you know it to be true as well, especially the New York guys. You go to court, you know, and, and that's basically what we go through. I've actually been in that building many, many, many times. Okay? But uh, how they program you is like, you know, they question you. All right, come down with us. We got to talk to you. You don't see anybody. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. I've not seen every episode, obviously. But, you know, most of the time people just go with them. But are you under arrest? No. So... I'm giving you examples of, of how you're programmed into believing that uh, you have to listen to them. Okay. Now, getting back to the, the how the, the, you know, the production, all right, the child support proceedings are administrative. Okay. They're administrative. And they hold it inside the building to give you the idea that it's a judicial process. Okay. And it's not. But even still, they still got to follow the uh, the rules set forth in our constitution our constitution says that uh, our rights are secured by the constitution and our secured rights are we cannot be deprived of property life liberty or property uh, unless okay unless by a trial by jury of any um, controversy of twenty dollars or more well we all know we're, we're over twenty dollars and just sticking to that is hard for them to deny. 
okay they start pulling out all their tricks and all their bs you know okay and how we we fight that is you know when they say well uh we don't we don't uh, prove you know this court does not provide uh trial by jury or, or trial and then you say okay well change this change the venue where i need to go to a court that provides me that i and i give you paperwork for that uh, then they say well law such and such or procedure such and such then you say yeah but the 14th amendment forbids states from creating laws that deprive me of my rights protected under the united states constitution my secured rights um there's a case law miranda versus arizona that prevents uh like courts or police departments you know or agencies from creating uh like you know procedures that uh, deprive you of your constitutional rights all procedures and rules must be consistent with the constitution okay and if you just follow that rule of thumb you know like people like a lot of times people get my paperwork like woo I got a lot of studying to do the first thing i have in my instructions is i give you the constitution i give you a link to click on and you get the constitution and my whole thing is if you follow the constitution you're going to have a very good idea you're going to have a very good foundation you know you don't need to know all the rules if they cite a rule or a law to you you take that law and you compare it to the constitution and if it doesn't it doesn't like line up with the constitution it's it's an unconstitutional law all right and you don't have to follow that law all right i had one guy uh dealing with a judge and the judge is like well you're going to have to deal with the legislation because that law they wrote the law no actually due process is for uh is is to prevent legislation the legislators from creating laws that deprive you of your your secured rights all right and that judge or you know fake judge or whatever they're they're supposed to say well that law is unconstitutional they're not supposed to follow every you know law. let's say for argument's sake all right um your job is telling you to perform a duty on your job but you know it to be illegal, unlawful. Well, you're not covered by your job because you're supposed to say to your supervisor, uh, ma'am or sir, I'm not comfortable doing this. And, uh, you know, you, you point out the reason why it's illegal or unlawful and you're covered. And even if, let's say, they fire you, you could you're gonna you're gonna you can win in a court because you're you let them know that you're not comfortable performing that duty because you feel that it's you know you can point out where it's illegal okay uh you know that, that, that that's why you got to be careful a lot of people out there think that because you know your job told you to do something that you're covered that's not true you're always responsible for your actions okay you know, let's say let's say you're working for a real estate agency, right? And you know, working in a high high end, you know, upper upper scale, upper income area, and you you know uh, you know, and you say you're 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 a white subscriber, right? And you have a Hispanic couple, uh, African American couple, Indian, Arab, whatever, and they come to you, and then your boss says. No, no, no. Tell them we don't have any. Don't tell them there's nothing available right now. Meanwhile, you know it's true. Well, that's illegal, and you would you would uh, you would not be covered if you let's say there's a big lawsuit going on and you just said, well, my boss told me to do it. That's not true. That's the uh, the old uh, Nuremberg uh, defense uh, when they had the. Uh, the Nuremberg trials where the, the Nazi soldiers were claiming, well, we were just following orders. Well, that doesn't cut it, all right? We're all born with, a, with right and wrong in our DNA, 
we're capable of doing wrong and we're capable of doing right. All right. And at the end of the day, you're responsible for your own actions. Okay. So, you know, now that I cover that, <laughs> I don't know how we got there, but it's, it's good to know. Like, oh I, oh, I said that if you use the Constitution as your foundation, if you just study the Constitution, everything else will fall into line. That's basically what I did. Okay. And, and, you know, I had a very good understanding of the Constitution. And then I'm looking at all these uh, child support procedures and law, and I realize, no, this is nothing but a scam. I'm walking in a room. Your Honor, please all rise. And then you find out she's not a, she's not a Your Honor. I'm talking about, you know, my situation. She's not a judge. She's a fake. That's why I came up with the term fake judge. It's fake. And I came up with the fake term before Trump started using fake news. <laughs> okay? I should, um... I should copyright it. <laughs> I should make the Rick W. fake judge t-shirts and, and, and start selling them. <laughs> All right. All right. So, you know, basically what I'm trying to tell you guys, is just follow the Constitution. When you get my paperwork and you, you, you see it all, uh, you'll look at my paperwork. I, the Constitution is a foundation in my paperwork. And, uh, you know, if you are deprived property without trial by jury, it's illegal. And they can't. And and by the way, they can't. They can't justify it. All right. The same guy I was just talking about, Matt in California, filed a writ of habeas corpus, and we're getting these one-line denials. Okay, that means we're on the right track. Okay, and because the courts just cannot deny you rights without an explanation. Okay, it doesn't work that way. All right, that's a tyrannical government. A tyrannical government is, is, a, is, a, is a government that's ordering you to do things that is illegal, ordering you to do stuff without question. You're not allowed to question them, okay? You know, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't cut the mustard. And they're doing that on purpose to cover their rents. But that's also good. You know, these one-line responses means that we're on to something. All right, so... Uh, Sorry about that. All right, so uh, let's go to validation of debt now. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to end the video right now. This will be part one. All right, uh, and I'll stop it right here. Hold on.